All right, hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This reading here is for my Pisces zodiac sign. This is your freestyle reading. This is timeless, so this could be for your past, present, or future energy. Uh, we're just going to go with the flow on this. Okay, whatever comes out, comes out. And we'll just, um, whatever resonates, resonates. And we'll, we'll end it off with a couple oracle cards here for you. All right. Clarify the energy of Pisces zodiac sign, please. What's going on with Pisces? Clarify the energy of Pisces. Thank you, Spirit. So we have Virtue, Three of Wands here. Okay, so there's definitely some type of progress, okay? Uh, bottom of the deck is Eight of Swords. So um, you could be stuck in your head about something here or feeling trapped. With this Three of Wands, it's, it's like progress, okay, movement forward. Okay, it's... Um, this could represent success as well. But we have the interference card here with the uh, Eight of Swords. So there's definitely something that you're stuck in your head about, okay? We also have the Moon card underneath and then Victory underneath that, which is the Six of Wands, okay? That's celebration, victory, achievement, accomplishments. So I feel like there's something going on that you cannot see and that you feel like you're stuck about, all right? with these cards here so let's uh let's go ahead and clarify and find out what's going on here clarify the energy of pisces please thank you king of pentacles clarify the oh look at there the high priestess secrets revealed clarify the energy of pisces thank you spirit and the knight of swords yeah bottom of the deck four of wands success celebration coming together commitment so what I'm getting here, King of Pentacles, this is definitely the, the most stable card out of the deck, all right? King of Pentacles. He is ultimate success, okay? He is ultimate stability. He has mastered it. He has knowledge. He's went through the things that he's went through and he's accomplished it, okay? So this is on its way to you. I feel like it may not have reached reach you yet, okay? Uh, but intuitively, you know that it's coming, all right? The High Priestess. You may not be able to see it, but you know it's coming, okay? Because this also represents like a secret to be revealed. So I feel like it hasn't been revealed yet that you're about to reach this type of success here. Because we do have the Three of Wands again as your overall energy. Progress, success, watching those ships uh, ride in here. And the Knight of Swords, all right? This is communication, forward communication, fast communication as well. So let's clarify here and see what's going on. Can I have more? Clarify the energy of Pisces, please. Thank you, Spirit. Page of Cups. Clarify the energy of Pisces, please. Page of Swords. So we we have two different messages. Look at there. Eight of Swords. Stuck in the head again. Yeah. Judgment card as well. Karma. Okay. A decision being made. So we definitely have two different messages coming in here. We have a love message and we have like a, a message that's coming from thought logic okay um excitement this page of cups this is a message of love okay you could be having someone communicating to you that they care about you that they love you they want to start a relationship with you and then here page of source this could be communication from like um, a business standpoint it could be communication from a lawyer it could be um something that has something to do with logic here Maybe a loan officer, you know, you, you were approved for that loan. You were, um, let's clarify that here. I'm feeling you stuck, though. You're stuck. Clarify the page of swords, please. Clarify the page of swords, please. You have nine of swords. You've been stressed out about this. Whatever this is, it's like you've been waiting for this news to come in because it's kind of delayed is what I'm getting with the page of swords. All right, so I feel like you've been up late at night. You could have been working late at night. This is a lot of anxiety, depression, sadness, tiredness, uh, thoughts late at night, okay? You're in your head. You're thinking, thinking, thinking over. You could be thinking over, I'm getting, did I finish everything? Did I correct everything? Did I, did I fill that out properly? Will, will it be approved? I'm getting, will it be approved? So it definitely could be like a loan situation here. And clarify the page of cups, please. 
Queen of Cups, love coming in, man. Okay, this love here is very committed, very stable, very mature love as well, okay? Uh, very nurturing energy, loving energy. But why are you stuck, though? Why are you stuck? Ace of Cups, New Beginning, Ace of Pentacles. So it's like you you have both things going on in your life. You have love and you have business opportunities going on here because we have the Pentacles and the Cups. And then under that again, Six of Wands. Look at here, Six of Wands. Do you feel like you're stuck between love and, and this option here or something? Because again, we have this Eight of Swords here. I feel like this is what you're stuck on. This here is what you're stuck on. You're stuck on this delayed news here. Let's see what the outcome is going to be. Again, it's it's about to come. You just can't see it. Clarify the page of swords and the nine of swords, please. Yeah, it's you're thinking about all of these thoughts, all of these dreams, all of these options, all of these choices, whatever this is here with the seven of cups. Clarify the outcome, please. What's the outcome? For this page of swords it's coming will of fortune and the page of pentacles to me you started something you didn't really know how it was going to um how it was going to take off when it was going to take off if it was going to take off you know what i'm saying you really didn't know but it was something i feel like you you have a lot of love for something you really want to commit to something you really want to pour your heart into okay You've had progress here, okay? You've had progress. It might have been slow progress, okay? Could have been slow progress. But let me tell you, you're stuck in your head because you can't see what's on the other side, Pisces, okay? You can't see what's on the other side. You're stuck here in this um, Eight of Swords. But this, what's being hidden underneath the moon, okay? In the moonlight. This is the moon card, all right? Is victory, success, six of wands, achievement, progress, success. People looking up to you saying, hey, Pisces did that. You see that victory, okay? It's there. You just have to be patient, all right? Be patient. It's coming. Things are about to change for you. It probably feels like, man, I didn't think these were ever going to change. But look at this page of pentacles. A new beginning is starting for you. Now let's uh, clarify this love energy if I can if I can do that. Let's see what this is. See if it pertains to relationships or what. Clarify the page of cups and the queen of cups, please, for Pisces. A love call. So yeah, somebody's definitely coming in. They're going to be communicating with you here. Love call is someone expresses love, a message of love, thinking of you and letting you know. Okay, this could actually be, if it's not a lover, it could be a family member, okay? It could be a brother, sister, auntie, uncle, you know, grandma, things like that. Just checking in on you, making sure you're okay. Clarify the Queen of Cups. Separation, sadness, missing you, thinking about you, yearning, unsure of future. You could be dealing with someone that you've been separated, uh, separated, what is that? <laughs> that you've been separated from, okay? If there was some type of breakup that happened. You could definitely, that could be what the Knight of Swords is as well. Communication coming in. Someone needing to speak with you to get something off of their chest. Um, yeah, let's pull one more for this energy of the Page of Cups and Queen of Cups, please. Photograph. Looking at your photos, missing you, nostalgia, make new memories. They definitely been uh, having that Six of Cups energy, nostalgia, all right? Thinking about you, looking at old photos, wanting to come in and talk to you. Okay, so you, you'll be hearing from them pretty soon, okay, if you have not already. But let me tell you, Pisces, success is on its way. Things are about to change for you. Excuse me. <coughs> Sorry, I got choked up there. Things are about to change for you for the better, okay? Opportunity here. All of that stress in and things like that you've been doing, all of the late nights of putting in work and effort, it's about to happen here. Let's see, any clarity or advice here for Pisces? If I can get the cards, any clarity or advice here for Pisces? Thank you. Again, release that, okay? We have to release card. 
release all that anxiety, that stress, that upset, upsettingness. Is that a word? I don't know if that's a word, but we're going to go with it, okay? Release all of that that's on heavy on your chest, okay? Things are going to turn out right. Things are going to be okay. Stop worrying, all right? Any last messages of clarity here or advice? Crown chakra. You are calling down to this physical realm what you want, all right? And spirit is saying, I hear you. I hear you. You're manifesting the heck out of it here with this crown chakra, okay? You're, you're all of this, these late nights that you're up thinking about money, thinking about success, thinking about progress on this situation here, wanting stability in your life, you're bringing it to you, okay? We have the crown chakra. You ask and you shall receive, all right? Keep thinking positive. Remember, with the crown chakra, what you put out into the universe, what you're thinking in your life is what's coming to you. So make sure you're staying positive, positive mindset. I am successful. I am, um, I am uh, uh, abundant, okay? I have money. I, I am successful. I'm getting clients. I get to work from home. You know, whatever it is you're wanting to say to yourself, make sure you're saying it every day. Wake up every day. I am successful. I have finances. I am wealthy. Whatever it is you want to say. My business is successful. My business is growing. Whatever it is you want to say, make sure you're saying it, all right? Stay positive. Don't put out that negative energy. All right, Pisces, let's go ahead and end you off with a couple of angel answers. Guys, if you enjoyed this reading, make sure you smash that like button down below. I would appreciate it so, so, so much. It actually helps the videos get out to the people and individuals that need to hear. And if you are new to my channel and you would love to subscribe, make sure you do that down below as well. I would love, love, love to have you here, okay? So let's end it off. Any last messages here for Pisces, please? Any last messages here for Pisces? With the angel answers, Spirit, are there any last messages here for Pisces? Zodiac sign. Any last messages here? The answer is yes. Yes, it is your time. Yes, it is coming. Any last messages here for Pisces? And the other card. No need to worry. Look at there. No need to worry. Stop worrying. You are calling it in. It is meant for you. All right, Pisces. This is your reading, guys. I thank you so, so, so much for your love and support. And I will catch you on the next video. Bye, guys.